There's an echo through these halls. There's a reason you are here. You can feel it in these walls. There's a legacy lived from footsteps here before. And you might not know it yet, but somebody. Obviously, today, this 50th anniversary gala represents a milestone in our history. I believe, the staff believe, this community believes it's time to stop for a minute and recognize our successes and relish the moment because it's through that do we get the fuel to create opportunities for our future. At the very beginning, 1966, I uh, and a handful of others were hired to be part of that first uh, group of faculty. Ron Willing, please. Ron has also been with the college for 25 years. Really remarkable, Ron. Go ahead. Remarkable when you look at the shape I'm in as well. <laughs> How could I have managed it that long? I'm going to be here in 25 years. And here I am. Do I dare say that again today? <laughs> well, that was a pretty exciting time. You know, 25 years went by, you know, very rapidly, but uh, this next 25 have gone by even more rapidly, especially, I think, for those of us that were part of that original team to have grown with the institution, you know, in its transition, and, uh, and that's exciting. I think it was mentioned on the stage in the theater tonight about how the community at large has embraced the institution. There's an ownership. You look at who makes up the group here tonight at this anniversary event, and they are 95% community people, builders of the community. And they see that they have a better chance of building the community, the kind of community that they envision hand in hand with, with the college. I believe that a post-secondary institution, unless it is tightly connected to its community, and in that I mean general community, its geography, but I also mean within its walls, connected with faculty and staff and administration and practitioners and visitors and citizens, my view in post-secondary is these people should be passing each other in the hallways, sharing ideas, sharing dreams, and reaching realities, common realities together. The one thing that stands on my mind was one individual student who, when I saw him in the hallway, uh, I tried having conversation with him, nothing. He, he was a brick wall. But through one event, and he actually attended a, a comedy night, uh, he came to me afterwards and said, hey, I had fun, when's the next one? He never spoke to me at all. And then this, and then I just got to feel like that one person uh, I made that little bit of a difference for, and he had fun that night. And that is really silly. I was just one person, but that one person meant the world to me. We opened um, our 25th anniversary time capsule. And again, we're gonna fill that at the end of the year and lock it up for another 25 years. So those of you that are planning to be here in 2042, be careful what you write in those letters. This is where you'll find your way. I am composing a letter now that I, that I will submit to the capsule just before it's time to close it. I'll keep that a secret for when they crack that thing open. 25 years ago, I was raising teenagers. So I wrote letters to each of my kids, hoping that 25 years later, uh, I could open those up and maybe even share them with the kid to see, uh, you know, what's transformed in those 25 years in their lives and really some pretty remarkable things, I'm pleased to say. I really think the future is for a diverse institution in terms of its programming, in terms of its, its, uh, its students. Uh, this community is growing. Uh, there is a need for a university in the province, in this northeastern peace country. And, uh, and, and I think this is where it's going to be. I, I don't have any doubt, and I don't think it's that many years on that uh, we're going to see that. 
since the very day Grand Prairie Regional College opened, this community has asked for and demanded that it have the ability to grant degrees. And whatever form that takes, an important piece for the future for this region is that Grand Prairie have the ability to grant degrees so that it can keep its children at home, to keep its citizenry at home as it develops professionals that we need into our future. And it's just going to grow from there. I mean, it has grown from there with the forestry program, and the nursing degree program, bachelor of social work, on and on and on. So yeah, the, 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 we've had dreams, and, and, and as we heard tonight in the program, that, that's where it starts. You gotta dream big. <laughs>